Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if this is your first time with us, welcome. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. Now, we have a great topic to discuss today. It's self-honesty. Now, I know that can make some people mighty uncomfortable, and for good reason. Yeah, many of us have become pretty good at lying to ourselves about our own unhealthy behaviors and flaws and minimizing the effects they have on our lives and relationships. Not to mention how our drinking or drugging may be causing problems in our lives as well. Now sadly, until we get honest with ourselves and admit and accept the truth about where we are at, we can't begin to make the changes in our lives that will bring us to a better relationship with our own selves as well as others. So now, let's take a good look at self-honesty, shall we? First of all, what does it mean to be honest with yourself? Well, when you are honest with yourself, you accept your weaknesses and flaws you may know what some of those are. You may know what you are capable of and what you aren't capable of. With enough self-knowledge, people's judgments can become less important. And why is it important to be honest with yourself? Well, knowing yourself is one of the many benefits of self-honesty. If you are honest with yourself, you can live authentically. You can live by your own values and beliefs, not just what you've learned from others. Self-honesty also helps you to be honest with others, increasing your support. And why is self-honesty important to success? Well, self-honesty makes you open-minded if you accept yourself as you are. You are receptive to contradicting beliefs values, and points of view, instead of needing to be defensive. Having a receptive mind is crucial in the workplace, for example, where you need to listen to others in order to make some crucial decisions. So, if you're ready to work on more self-honesty in your life, check out these ways to start being honest with yourself. Here we go. First, stop putting off dreams until tomorrow. Then, own up to your mistakes. Don't shrug off your feelings. Realize you don't know everything, and that's okay. Find a loved one to give you honest feedback. Well, those are some darn good ways to get you started for sure. Now, in some cases, people may be lying to themselves and not even realizing it. I found several signs of a person lying to themselves that I want to share with you. Check these out. First, your emotions don't match your words. Next, your behavior doesn't align with your proclamations. You make extreme statements. You feel inauthentic. You are not open to input from others. <laughs> You are never wrong, whoa, and you find yourself in over your head. Well, if you can relate to any of those, you may have some work to do, yes sir. I also ran across some qualities of honest individuals. Check these out, I just threw them in. They're not concerned about popularity contests. Honest people don't obsess over what peers think of them. They stand up for their beliefs. They are thick-skinned. They have close friendships. <coughs> they are trusted by their peers. So that should be enough info to get you started. And if you need more, just go online. There's plenty more there for you. Yeah, well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.